Part two, why it's not your metabolism's fault, but this one we're gonna talk about building muscle. I'm gonna give you tips on how you're gonna be able to gain more muscle while lose weight and fat and feel good about doing it. Let's go back to building your metabolism in the three-step formula. So every pound of muscle that you add on is 30 more calories per day, okay? So that's one way that you're gonna be able to increase metabolism or burn the food that you're consuming. Number two is that the more muscle you have, the more energy it requires, and the stronger you're naturally gonna get. So when you're working out, you're gonna burn more calories during a workout than you would if you didn't have that percentage of muscle. But here's the catch, is that it's not going to reflect on your watch. Because as you get in better shape, you don't want your heart rate to be shooting up high. You actually want your heart rate to stay low while you're outputting more energy. So yes, you're gonna burn more calories, but your watch doesn't measure that. Your watch only measures heart rate. So you wanna keep the heart rate low, but you wanna keep the muscle activity high. And then number three is how many calories are you burning for the other 23 and a half hours of the day? So somebody that has more muscle percentage is gonna burn way more calories when they're sleeping than somebody that doesn't have the same amount of muscle. Now, you could start to gain weight as you gain muscle. Okay, and people say that muscle weighs more than fat. And this is kind of true in a certain way. Because if you have one pound of fat and you have one pound of muscle, which one weighs more? Well, they weigh the same. They're one pound, it doesn't matter. But the difference is, is fat is a lot fluffier and bigger and consumes up more space, so it looks like it's heavier, but one pound is one pound because the muscle's tight, lean, striated, and dense. Now, muscle retains more water because it requires much to do its function, whereas fat is big and fluffy and it's just a bunch of fat cells that are expanded. And so muscle and fat, they weigh the same, but they take up, one takes up a lot of space, one takes up minimal space. So to say muscle weighs more than fat, a pound is a pound, however you look at it. Now, the reason why some people could be gaining weight while they're gaining muscle is because as their metabolism raises, meaning as they put on more muscle, it needs more calories. As you work out, you're burning more calories. As you do daily activities like driving, sleeping, eating, you're burning more calories. And what ends up happening is that people feel like they're starving and they're not used to this new metabolism. So what happens when you naturally get hungry? If you're not trained or you don't have the proper coaching for your nutrition, you're going to feed the machine. And often when we get to that point and we're not trained for this new muscle, we're gonna eat the fast, quick, and dirty food that's gonna give us the highest amount of calories as possible. So you have to find that blend of how many calories you actually need based on what your metabolism is requesting. And that's the only way people are going to gain weight as they build up more muscle. So here's a couple things that people often misconceive is that they think lifting heavier, that by just lifting heavier weights is gonna help me to gain more muscle, right? So it's like, well, you know, I've been lifting heavier weights. My question to you is, how long have you been lifting those weights? So if you pick up one heavy weight once and you put it down and you don't do it again for the next four weeks, that just lifting that one weight once isn't going to add on new muscle. Muscle takes time to build up and muscle needs consistent use. So if you were squatting the 50s and then you go up to the 60s and you do the 60s for four weeks where you're getting the same amount of reps at the 50s in 30 seconds in four weeks, then yes, your body's going to say, hey, this is the new basic. I need to match my ability to do this exercise with the load that this person is presenting to me but it takes time for your body to adapt to this new strength. So let me repeat that again. By lifting the 60s once and not doing it again for four weeks isn't going to equate to you getting more muscle. Muscle takes time and it matches the output that is required. So you have to go from, let's say you're doing 50s, in 30 seconds you're able to get 15 reps, 15 good quality reps. And then you start with the 60s and you're only getting eight reps. Yes, you're getting stronger, and yes, your body is adapting, but until you can get the 60s to 15 reps in 30 seconds, where 60s become your new normal, 
at that point, your body isn't going to build muscle. It takes that time, it takes consistency, and the 60s need to feel exactly like they did at the 50s. So now 60s become your new normal. Then you're starting to put on new muscle because the load has increased, the repetition is still the same, and the same time zone exists. So there we have it guys. If you want new muscle without gaining weight, you have to make sure that you're continuously challenging yourself with new resistance, but you have to get the same amount of repetitions in the same time frame. And if you don't want to gain weight and you want to continue to lose, then you have to make sure that your nutrition doesn't change. Because as your metabolism goes up or as you add more muscle and the calories that you need to live every single day goes up, and yet you cannot match it with food because what ends up happening is you're gonna to tend to overeat. So you have to stay hungry for a little bit longer and naturally your body's gonna put on that new muscle because you're adding more resistance in the same amount of time and the same amount of repetitions. Now I got good news for you because that world exists. For you that might be difficult to track and train, but when you come to Fit Club guys, you know it, your coaches are pushing you to whatever limit you're able to do. Not everybody can lift the same weights, and so the coaches are trained to be able to work with you wherever you are. So if we see one day you coming in, and you're lifting a little bit lighter than you normally do, and your goal is to increase your metabolism and add more strength and add more muscle, then the coaches are gonna be pushing you to be able to get there. And so if you're looking for the coach and you're not a part of the Fit Fam right now, then go to our website, www.fitclub.fit, Send us a message, we'll get you started five days for five bucks. If you're a member and this is what you wanna do, you wanna start adding more muscle, then have a chat with us, the coaches, send us an email, send us a text or PM me personally, you know I always answer back and we can put together a supplement plan and I can help you to guide you of how you can make the best of the blue to pack on that muscle, increase your metabolism and make this your fittest year yet.